Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday afternoons. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 gift shopping pet peeves. Now these are my pet peeves when it comes to shopping for presents for people because whether I don't know what to get them or whether I um, can't find the exact gift I want for them, which is normally usually not that big of a deal because you could go to other stores. But these are just my personal little pet peeves of shopping, of gift shopping for people. And just to let you guys know, this doesn't mean a disclaimer. Um, it doesn't mean I hate going shopping for people. These people, I love to shop for things for people, but these are just my personal pet peeves when it comes to buying, comes to shopping at stores um, for gifts. And I'm gonna get started, and let me know if you guys have ha had these pet peeves down in the comments below. So I'm gonna get started. So number one on my list would have to be not finding the exact gift for someone that I wanna get them. So this really bothers me because um, then I have, because I have my heart set on getting somebody this certain present, and I don't want to just buy them something else because I like to try to buy people exactly what they like for Christmas and miss or their birthdays because then it, then I feel like it shows that I care because if I buy something I have a feeling they're something um, different from what they really exactly like. It just bothers me because I feel like they're not going to like it as much even though a lot of people do like the presents they get that I give them and stuff. Um, I just still oh, like to make sure I buy the exact gift for what they want because then I know they'll use it and stuff. Stuff and if I can't find the exact gift that somebody likes, it just really this bothers me because I worry about what else to get them. Number two, my list has to be figuring out what people like. So this is one thing that's really hard for me is like sometimes I don't always remember a lot of people's interests so I have to kind of write them down. And then sometimes I'll accidentally try to get them something I like. And that's one of my biggest things that um, I've gotten so much better at, at, at. But it's really hard for me to just try to figure out what people like. So I usually just like to ask them what exactly they like. Because it just really helps me figure out what exactly to get them for their birthdays and stuff. Number three on my list have to be the gift being broken and expensive. So this really irritates me when I get a present to somebody and the present does not work and it was really and I spent a lot of money on it. I'm sure we all get irritated when that happens. And it really bothers me because then the person can't use it and then I just feel bad that I have to return it and have them wait a day later after their birthday or Christmas. It just really bothers me when I spend so much money on a gift and it doesn't work. Number four on my list has to be the wrong size. So um, I'm not very good at knowing people's clothing size by heart. And so sometimes I will accidentally pick up um, the wrong clothing size. Normally I'm really good at asking people what their clothing size is just for measurements and stuff. Um, stuff. But sometimes I just estimate because I don't always know what size people are. Excuse me are in clothes so sometimes I have to guess and then sometimes and then if I guess I get the wrong size so I usually just will ask people what size their clothes is and if it's still their size and it doesn't fit it really bothers me because then I feel like I did a bad job but everybody's really nice about it and stuff. Number six on my list has to be people being rude. So this really bothers me when um, the customer service people are very rude like the people that work at the store. It really irritates me when um, people are being so rude, rude because they get mad because they, they're just like, like, get out of my way, I'm shopping or stuff. It really bothers me when people are just rude when other people are shopping. I mean, it's like some people will act like they own the whole store and it really irritates me when people do that because it's not very nice and it really irritates me because I feel like people are not being considerate for other people. Number seven on my list has to be the line being too long. Now this really, really bothers me when lines are too long for shopping because I just want to get all my shopping done and pay for everything. And it bothers me when the line is too long and it's not moving so fast. And it just bothers me so much because I have other things to do than just um, sit and wait around for people and stuff. And it really bothers me when people are not very considerate. Number 
it or the line is just taking too long. It just irritates me when somebody's taking, when the line is just too long. Number eight on my list might be not having enough money. Now I have had this happen to me a few times when I was paying for things, um, one second. I have had this happen to me when it came for paying for things for people. I was like not having enough money on my card, not having enough money um, in my wallet. And it really, really bothered me that I couldn't pay for what I was buying for my friend. friends. And it really bothers me when I don't have enough money and I bring my card. I am really good at checking my balance before I go shopping. But it really irritates me when I don't have enough money to pay for things and then my mom has to end up paying for it for me. For me, I mean, it's like I under, I know she's trying, she's helpful and everything, not to be mean or anything, but I just like to bring money so I can be a little more independent. Number nine on my list had be other customers being rude. So this one thing that bothers me is like, I know when we're all gift shopping, we all want to get like a certain present for our family leaves and stuff but it really irritates me when other customers are just being rude to other people and rude to employees it really just just bothers me when the customers are just rude to other customers because they're not they act like they own the whole store and it just really irritates me when they are rude to employees and other customers and it just bothers me that they have no consideration for other people number 10 on my list would have to be the store employees being rude. So I have had this happen to me before. Like I have a story about how I went to return things to Macy's after Christmas and when the lady at the return counter was kind of rude to me and my mom and I'll link that down below. Oh, and it bothers me when the store employees are being so rude, like they don't want to help at all or just they're kind of like snobby and they don't seem to care about their customers. It just really, really bothers me when there, when places have rude employees because it just makes me not want to go shopping there and there and it really irritates me and it just makes me not feel welcome and I really don't like that. I'm sure we've all been in that state where we've had employees be rude to us at stores and um, and it's very very upsetting when upsetting when the employees are rude and don't seem to be helpful. I really get mad when I have to, when I get stuck with a rude employee employee because I feel like I'm not being cared about by the employee. So those are my top 10 gift shopping pet peeves. And like I said, this doesn't mean I hate buying presents for people. These are just the personal pet peeves I have when it comes to present shopping. I love to shop for gifts for people. I just hate when these things happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday afternoon, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!